guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to do a new video this video is going to be on replacing door speakers and the side view mirrors on an acura mdx so i'm going to get started with the video but i just want to give you guys a heads up of what's going on i bought myself a project mdx recently and i've been doing a lot of work to it so i'm just going to make a couple of some of the work so here is the car so far i have got the car polished already i did a power steering pump on it i did sway bar length and bushings on it and today I'm going to be replacing these mirrors. Took it in for a safety check and they failed it because it was kind of cloudy there and the LED light is actually cracked there. And I'm just also going to change that and the speakers since the speakers are kind of distorted. I'm going to replace those speakers so I'm going to be pulling off the door panel. So I'm going to get started with the video. So the speakers I'm going to be installing are 6.5 inch speakers from Amazon. I think I paid 52 bucks for the set. I'm going to be doing the front and the rear doors. For the mirrors, these were an eBay special. It cost $300 for the set of mirrors. And they're actually in pretty good condition. I'll show you them. So this is the mirror you get on eBay for two for $300. They're in pretty good. They're brand new. They have a bit of film on the glass there, but brand new mirrors going in there. So we shouldn't have any problems passing safety with that. So let's get started with installing them. So to get the door panel off, there's going to be a few pieces you're going to have to pop off. Underneath here, you're going to have a screw there, so you're going to have to pop off that little plastic cover. And I believe you're going to have to pop off this whole gray piece, and there's going to be a couple of screws underneath that. And after that, you should be able to pop off the whole panel. So you just use a little flathead here to pop off this little panel here. you're done removing that the next step is going to be removing this piece here you might want to just unclip it if not it'll be good to invest in these kind of tools they're pry tools you get them off amazon really cheap maybe about 20 bucks for the set or whatever and it just prevents you from uh barring up your interior there with a bunch of uh pry marks there so i'm just gonna find one that i can use there This off, there's gonna be a couple more screws here. Uh, what do I see here? There's gonna be one more Phillips in here. And just try to remember what screws you took out of where. So these ones are a bit bigger silver ones. And the ones that came out of the door handle are just little tiny black ones. So just try to remember what screws you took out of where. So once you have all those off, the next step would be to just pop off the panel here. Don't be afraid to pull on it pretty hard because it is going to be just holding it on. Same thing, I'm using another pry tool so I don't damage the panel. There you have it, the door panel is off. So there's going to be a few harnesses you're going to have to unplug here. Um, one of them is going to be the harness right there for the mirror. And there's going to be a few more plugs down there. But they're pretty simple to get off. All they did is just little push clips here and then you can pull them off. And then just remove the door handle. 
So there's the first mirror clip removed. The next clip I'm gonna remove is probably down here, this one here. Same thing, just push it down. Now that I got those two clips off, those uh, wiring harnesses, the last step is to remove the door handle. The door handle is actually pretty tricky to remove, but what you gotta do here, let me try to get a better angle. When you're removing the door handle, what you want to do is these clips right here, you just put a screwdriver right here and you just pop them off and the handle should come right off. Okay, there you have it. In about 5 minutes, I had the door panel off. Next step is to remove this piece here to figure out what bolt it is, remove the mirror. And to replace the speaker, it's going to be very simple. It's going to be 3 Phillips screwdrivers there. So to replace the mirror, it's just going to be three 10 millimeter screws and the mirror should come right off. So I'm just going to get my socket set to remove that. Things lined up again. I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting all the screws back. The one up here was actually not for the mirror. That's actually to hold the trim on. So that one actually didn't have to get removed. So it's gonna be this one here that I'm turning. This one here and the one behind the seal. So I'm just gonna fasten that up. To do the door speakers, it's gonna be very simple. It's just gonna be three Phillips screwdrivers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking that off. And uh, let's see how the condition of the speaker is. So the reason why this speaker has to get replaced is it's actually blown. The, the seal is actually ripped there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, try to put in the new one. So as you can see, um, the speakers come with that type of connection, but your factory speakers have that kind of connection. So what you're going to do is we're actually going to cut it and we're going to use the, the wire harness that they came with to reconnect the speakers. So here are my two connections here. I got the, the bigger connector here on the white wire, which is going to be positive, and I have the smaller connection on the gray wire to go onto the green wire. So I'm just gonna go ahead and solder it. I like to solder all my connections because once you solder it, you never have to think about it again. If you're using electrical tape, you might be opening up the door panel the next month or two as soon as the winter comes. So there you go, just like that. The two wires are soldered and uh, you never have to think about them again. So I'm just gonna wrap that up in electrical tape and uh, install the speaker and I'll show you guys how it looks once the speaker is installed. It's gonna be very simple. This is gonna be three Phillips screwdrivers once I get them all plugged in and taped in. There it is, the speaker is now installed and putting back the door panel is basically doing the same thing and putting it back in reverse order. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the door panel back on. So there you have it, that's how you replace a brand new mirror on a 2007 Acura MDX to 2013 followed by how to replace the door speaker and put the door panel back on. So thank you very much for watching guys, see you guys on the next video.